What's going on, everybody? Today, we're here to talk about a specialized material that I used uh, when making plaques. It's Gemini Duets. So let's get into it. So there's a couple of different makers of products like this. This Gemini Duets is what I'm holding in my hand. It is the brushed brass, I believe, is what this sheen is. And so if I was to take this coating off, you'd be able to see like the brushed metallic uh, metal looking surface, but it's really two-tone. So it is a plastic. And so it's got this metal look on top and then black on the back. So what you do is you take this, you engrave the top off, and then you have a nice looking plaque. As you can see that I've done many of them with this material. So let's take a closer look. Let's talk about settings and how I use this material to do some of my award plaques and flags that I've created. So let's head over to the laser. Okay, so when I use this stuff, one of the things that is kind of tricky about it is it does have a protective coating on here, but it does not engrave well, at least for me, with the protective coating still on. So what I do is I go and I cut the plaques out and I'll use my magnets here and I'll actually hold down this material so it doesn't go anywhere. So it's, it's stuck there, it's not moving. I'll cut these out, I'll pull them out, remove the plastic coating, and then put them back in place to engrave. Just referencing the same spot that they were cut out of, so that way I don't have to go and try and align them, anything, like I basically just use this as my template. So cut them out, then engrave them um, after you've taken the coating off of it because the coating almost kind of like melts up as you engrave it if you leave that coating on. So let's talk a little bit about the settings that I use on these and then we'll run a couple. All right, so here we are at Lightburn and let's look at my settings. So for the fill, I'm doing 500 millimeters a second at 18% power. Um, and then we jump in here, we can just look at 0 0.06 on our line interval. Um, one of the things I actually want to do is I'm going to, I want to test this. I want to see if I can get it to 0.1. It's what I like to do on most of my settings. Um, just makes it really easy and makes things go really fast. Uh, it's doing fill all shapes at once. So that way it just goes top to bottom, gets everything. So say, okay there. And then on the actual cut, the line, it is 48 and 40. So pretty straightforward there. We'll say, okay. One of the things to check optimization settings it's ordered by group what i'll do first is i will turn off the output on this guy so it won't do my fill turn this output on so it'll cut everything out and then we'll go back pull them out peel the plastic put them back in and then we'll go from there so let's take a quick look at the preview uh, so let's go ahead let's select because we're doing cut selected hit the preview and it just shows me Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, done. So it'll cut them real quick, and then we'll go pull them, pull them out, put them back in, and engrave them. All right, so I'm ready to hit the play button. I'm going to go ahead and start in this top left corner. So top left corner there, using current position, it's going to go ahead and cut them out. So let's go ahead and hit start. using very little air on this. All right, so those are done. And then I just use a piece of blue tape. I can just pop those out. And they're ready to all just come out. I'll go ahead and peel the plastic and then we'll put them right back in for our engrave. All right, so I've got these back in here. You can see they're a little bit more shiny because I took that protective coating off. Now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to turn the output here off, turn the output on for our engraving. Still got the same one selected, still same start position, nothing's changed. And now you see there is all the engraving. So if I hit a play on this real quick, you'll see it runs through and does each one of these. So it should take about three minutes to make it happen. So we'll go ahead and say, okay, um, I did defocus an extra millimeter. And so I made the lens or actually the, the nozzle, I lifted it um, one millimeter. What that does 
is it helps soften the lines in the engraver. So ready to hit play, got everything selected that I need. My start position is the same. I looked at the preview, everything looked good. So let's go ahead and hit start. So here we go. See, there's the first one, and we'll just jump to when it's done here in a second. So one of the things that I actually missed in my settings as I was looking at this is I usually run these with the air off. I had the air turned on, and so it actually made it more of a very close to surface mark when I did these. So I'm running a second pass, and I turned the air off. You can even see that the engravings are getting, you know, much clearer. You can see right here, it's a nice black, flattened, kind of a foggy. So we'll run these again, and then we'll take them inside. We'll clean them off with a little bit of LA Awesome. And if it needs to get any haze off, just a quick couple of swipes with a magic eraser. All right, and there you go. After a quick wipe down, that's the, the finished product, the finished tag. So these will be mounted on a couple of flags that I have going out as awards. Um, super awesome product to use. This is the Gemini Duets. Um, it's the brushed brass, I believe, is this one. They also have like a brushed copper. There's brushed aluminum. So there's a lot of different varieties out there. There are also other brand names. Um, I think there's a Tro Lace that's uh, made by Trotec. Um, and a couple of other different products out there that are similar to this, but it's essentially just a two-toned acrylic. It has a, a metallic finish on top and then some other kind of color underneath. Um, sometimes you'll see them just in like different colors, like a, a red to white, a white to red, you know, all kinds of different varieties. So take a look. These ones came from JDS Industries. I'll go ahead and link them down in the description so you can go ahead and set up an account. You do have to have a business license and a tax ID to, or a tax, um, what do you call it? A tax license to a reseller's license to sign up for them. But awesome product, totally worth going through um, and getting all set up because they also have a bunch of other products too. So yeah, there you go. That's how I use this product in my workflow.